Hello everyone, how is everyone doing today? I hope everything's good, everyone is doing great. Welcome to WebSense Pro. I'm your host Bilal Nasir with a new Shopify tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can easily embed a PDF document with a simple line of code without using any app on your Shopify store. So you can easily embed it and after embedding it you will have your PDF look like this. So I just added a website mockup because I didn't have any other PDF. So you can add your uh, product description, product features, or any other details about your Shopify store in that PDF, which can be easily embedded on any of the page. So if you want to learn, stick to the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, right? Let's get into it. Okay guys, so that's how the embedded PDF will look like after you follow the tutorial. And you can also add your PDF below the product page or any uh, place in the product page, any section. So that's how it looks like in the product page. Again, you can move it above uh, this section and you can also add it below the description, whatever you want, right? So let's try adding that. Now first, you'll need to go to your Shopify backend and I'm navigating there. So after your Shopify backend is loaded, that's how it's gonna look like. And we will click on online store. And from there, we will go to customize of our activated theme. So I'm currently implementing that on DOM, but this code will work on all of the theme because it's just an HTML code, which you can easily add on any of the theme. And for that, now click on customize. And in customize, if we want to add uh, the PDF on bottom of our product page, what we're going to do, we will click on add section here and take custom liquid as our section. So that's the custom liquid. And in custom liquid, we will copy an HTML code. So that's the code which we will add. Don't worry about the code. I will add it on the YouTube video description which you will find via blog post link. So that's the code which you will need to add your PDF. And in here, as you can see, we have here mentioned that we need to add PDF URL. So first, what we're gonna do, we will upload the PDF. And in order to upload the PDF file, I'll go to the Shopify backend again. So let's open it on a new tab. And from there, click on settings here. And from settings, click on files, which you can see above files below meta fields. So click on that and upload your PDF. Uh, make sure it's less than 20 MB because more than 20 MB a PDF will not be supported and Shopify will give you an error. So I already have uploaded my PDF here. What I'm gonna do, copy the link from here. Just click that button and your link will be copied. And once your link is copied, you can then change this within the inverted commas and paste it here. Okay, and once the URL is pasted, click on save. And now if I go to my homepage, uh, actually let's first comment out this code because I want to show you guys that there was no PDF. So click on save and uh, now when i refresh nothing's showing up on the bottom of the home page as you can see but after adding this code and updating the url within that code if i hit save and hit refresh you can see that i have my pdf showing up taking a while to load okay it's loaded so it's an eight page PDF, which is being loaded, but as you can see, it's aligned to the left, which looks a little messy. So what I'm gonna do, I will add a new diff. And in that diff, I can simply add style and make it text align center. So that's a small CSS code which we can add to align its center 
Let me see if it's working fine. Click save and hit refresh. Okay, here we go. As you can see, our PDF is now center aligned. We can increase the width and height as per our requirement. Currently, it's set to 700 pixel and height is set to as 1200 pixel. Okay, now we have successfully added it on our home page. What if we want to add it on our product page? It's very simple. We will just simply copy the quote, go to our product page from this menu, click on products, and then click on the default product. And then again, we will take a new custom liquid section. Custom liquid, liquid. Here it is, custom liquid and in custom liquid, we will simply paste the code which we added before. And now if I save it and uh, go to my product page, I should be able to see the PDF. Yep, the PDF is showing up. Let it load for a bit. Yep, the PDF is loading fine. But the issue here is that it will load PDF on all of the products. So it's currently I'm on this product. So if I go to any other product, it will show the same PDF on all of the products. Let's open this and let's open this. Look, it's showing up on all of the products, but you might need to add a separate PDF on different products. So Polo shirt might have different specification and uh, must have different material used in that. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you how you can add a PDF on a specific product, but if you want to include that. So you can simply add an if condition within this liquid and it will show on a specific product wherever you want to display it. So add an if condition, I'm going to add if product dot handle equals to Sorry, and I'm going to end my if condition below the code which we already added and if and within the inverted commas of product dot handle, I'm going to define which product I want to display this PDF to. So what's the product handle? You can get the product handle from uh, the if you go to the products and if you go to any of the products from Shopify backend and scroll down to the bottom, you will find the product handle. It's basically the ending part of the URL. So if I go to blue t-shirt, scroll down to the bottom, here we have SEO, search engine listing, click on edit, and that's our product handle. Now, if you want to just copy this ending of the URL, that will also work fine. Now, I want to display my PDF only on pro Polo product page. So let's copy the product handle from here and paste it within inverted commas of the if condition we added. Paste it and now hit save. And now if I go to any of the any other product page, now for example, that's the t-shirt product. And if I hit refresh, as you can see, there is no PDF showing up now. But if I go to Polo and hit refresh. You can see that in our Polo product, the PDF is showing up completely fine. But on other products, we don't have this PDF showing up. So it's a really easy way to embed your PDF specifically for one single product. If you want to, you will just need to add an if condition. Make sure you don't do any typing mistake. And if it doesn't work, uh, in, on first time after adding the if condition, make sure to hit save again after changing the code and hit refresh to make it to make sure it's working fine. Right, so it's the polar product and it's showing up and not showing up on any of the product. Looks good, right? Okay, guys, so that's it for the tutorial. Uh, you will find all of the code examples on, on YouTube video description within a blog post link. And if you have any suggestions during this YouTube uh, for this YouTube channel or for this video, don't forget to comment in the video below.
Until next video, have a great day.